What's up, guys? It's your boy, Jay. Welcome to Jay's World. So let's talk. You know how we do it, so let's get into it. And welcome to another edition of Jay Topics. Okay, so guys, before I get started, um, I just want to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Oh, yeah. I've been looking down at the numbers, and I'm seeing a little, a little uptick in the numbers. Not a lot, but I'll take it, okay? I will take it. Thank you guys so much for uh, subscribing to my channel. So I just wanna do a little house cleaning for those that are not familiar with my YouTube channel. Now I do three separate things on this channel. I do uh, cooking with Jay where I get in my actual kitchen and I whip up recipes. I also do um, uh, snack reviews, which is one of my most favorite things to do right here on this channel. They are very funny and interesting and I, if you haven't seen any of my snack reviews, check that out as well. And also, I do what you are watching right now, and that's called J Topics. Now, J Topics is a little bit different from my snack reviews and my Cooking with J videos, okay? This is where the grown folks conversations happen, okay? You know, I talk about a lot of different things. I talk about pop culture. I talk about politics. Um, I talk about social and civil unrest that, that we're experiencing in this country. I talk about all things that are important to moi, me, Jay. So if you are interested in those types of things, plus more, then check out Jay Topics. If that's not your cup of tea, check again, check out my uh, Cooking with Jay videos or check out uh, uh, my, my snack review videos, okay? All right, again, welcome and thank you for subscribing. Okay, so now, um, first I would like to talk about actor Michael K. Williams. We lost Michael K. a few days ago. Uh, very, very, very sad. Not only was it very sad, this was just, it was shocking. It was absolutely shocking. Um, oh. They said that they found Michael face down in his uh, New York apartment. Uh, there was, uh, you know, drug stuff, I guess paraphernalia all around on the table or throughout the apartment. And they are alleging that it was an overdose. Now, I don't know if you guys have been watching the news lately, but his family is claiming that whoever the drug dealer was, it's a little bit deeper than that. They are even claiming that the drugs may have been laced with something worse or I mean look let's just be honest drug abuse is drug abuse so there's really no pretty way to put it you know but whatever it was you know it's just very sad and very just I was just like I was devastated Michael K Williams in my honest opinion was just one of the greatest most underrated actors in the industry like he honestly was. That man put his all and in all into every role he ever played. Oh my God, I mean, from back to when he, remember when he was on The Wire? I really feel that The Wire was was the, the one show that just kind of catapulted his career to, to bring him to where he was, you know, today. But yeah, just really, really sad, very, very shocking. I mean, his death is really sent shockwaves throughout the, the the industry. It really was. Just a sad, sad situation. Oh, y'all just devastating. Only 54 years old. That's young, y'all. That's like that's young. Such promise and just gone too soon. Yeah. Rest in peace, Michael K. Williams. And next, uh, in other sad news, uh, condolences go out to the family of Willard Scott. That's right, Willard Scott from the Today Show. The wacky, zany weatherman. Uh, yeah, y'all know Willard Scott. You know, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, he was on the, uh, to, uh, on the Today Show for like 60 years or something like that. Willard Scott really brought that whole wackiness. And, and, and he pretty much set the blueprint for every other weatherman after him throughout this entire country, you know. And he was also known for the... Um, the Smuckers uh, thing where he like gave a shout out to all of the elderly people that made it to 100 plus years old. That was very special. And here's a very special side note. He was the very first 
Ronald McDonald. Mm-hmm. He was the first Ronald McDonald, you know. Just, that, that was sad, you know. Uh, Willard Scott was 87 years old. He was surrounded by his wife and his children at his home when he died. Yeah, really sad, but a, a life definitely well lived. So, um, shout out to Willard Scott as well, and rest in peace to him. Okay. 50 Cent. You are a vile, disgusting, horrible piece of crap. If y'all don't know, I don't... I, 50, ever since uh, it was announced that Michael K. Williams died, 50 Cent has pretty much gone on a rampage on his Twitter. Now look, y'all know how 50 Cent is. 50 Cent is the ultimate troll. He is the ultimate troll. 50 Cent loves attacking people on his Twitter and his Instagram. You know, just, just I mean, like, I, I, look, I'm not going to lie. In the past, some of the stuff has been funny, you know, and I've even reported about it right here on Jay's World TV. You know, he's made some comments about Wendy Williams, you know, which was kind of funny. And he's talked about um, uh, <laughs> Vivica Fox, which was also funny, you know, because she is. She's been going around for all of these years, was 16 to 17 years, crying about their relationship. So look, I, I get it. He's always been a troll, and we've always just kind of look. That's just the way he's been, okay? But at but at the same time, there's a time and place for everything. There really, honestly, is. Now look, anyone that knows me in my own personal life will tell you I am very much a keep that same energy type of person. There are people that I personally do not like in my own personal life. There are people actually in my family that I do not like. <laughs> but here's the thing about it. If I don't like you, I don't like you. And I'm never gonna F with you. That's just how I am personally. But at that same time, there's a time and place for everything. And this is where keep that same energy just went horribly wrong for, for 50 Cent. He is receiving much deserved backlash for his comments that he's been making about Michael K. Williams. You know, talking, I, look, I, I don't even, I've I read some of the stuff and I'm not even gonna repeat it. It's so vile and disgusting. Y'all can look it up and read it for yourselves, but it's just so gross and egregious and just disgusting. It really honestly is. And I even heard one blogger say, well, it doesn't matter to me because if I don't like you, I just don't like you. And that's fine, all well and good. But at the same time, he could have very well just kept his mouth shut. And not to mention, be respectful to that man's family members. Because guess what? Michael K. Williams is no longer here to defend himself. 50, okay? When these people uh, 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 watch the news or, or they flip on their, their telephones, they're reading stuff that you're saying about their now deceased family member. And that man's mother, children, I don't know if he had a girlfriend or whomever, they don't deserve that. And you're just being so disrespectful, man. Like seriously, 50 Cent, it is time. As a matter of fact, it is past time for you to grow your ass up. You're too damn old for this. What are you, 49, 50 years old? It's, it's ridiculous, y'all. It, like, it honestly really is. 50 cent, grown ass man. Even your own child won't even deal with you. Y'all remember that, him going back and forth with his, with his adult child in his 20s? A 20-year-old young man arguing with this old 40-something, damn near 50-year-old man. If he's not 50 years old already, I'm not sure. If he's not 50, he's real close to it. It's just ridiculous, y'all. It's disgusting, and yeah, I, I... Man, grow up. Just grow up, 50. Seriously. Okay, um, next I want to talk about... Carry on Franklin. Oh, yeah. Carry on Franklin, son of gospel artist 
Kirk Franklin is back in the news again. This time, y'all, Carry On went to Instagram Live. And basically, he's accusing his mother of physically abusing him. Now, I saw the actual footage, and you could see his mom in the background, very calm, very nonchalant. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm assuming the other older lady is probably his grandmother. Is She seemed to have maybe have been his grandmother or his aunt. I'm not quite sure. But both of these ladies, they didn't seem irate. They didn't seem upset. Look, like I said, I don't know exactly what happened before Carry On started filming. But I, I in my heart of hearts, y'all, I do not believe that that woman attacked that boy. Well, I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. That grown ass man. <laughs> How old is Carry On? What? 33, 34, even maybe even 35 years old at this point? Because I know Kirk Franklin and his, you know, ex, they had him at a very young age. I believe uh, Kirk Franklin was like a 14 or 15 year old dad. So there's not much, I mean, there's maybe a decade and a half of, 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 of age difference between Carry On and Kirk, okay? But anyway, so you could even literally see her, like she's like waving. Basically saying this boy is just ridiculous. But yeah, it, it's just real, really sad and just ridiculous. I mean, I remember when I first reported on Carry On, and you know, it, which it sparked that whole debate with people. Some people were on Carry On side, some people were on Kirk Franklin's side, which I took Kirk Franklin's side, and I still take Kirk Franklin's side, and I take a Kirk Franklin's ex ex wife's side or his ex baby mama, whatever she is to him. You know, I take her side. Because again, this is a grown ass man. I, I remember in my last video, I even got some people that <laughs> got a little pissed at me because of my thoughts about that. And I'm sorry, I stand 100% about everything I said about Carry On Franklin. He's a grown ass man acting out and it's just ridiculous. And I had no problems then with Kirk Franklin cussing him out and I still don't have a problem with Kirk Franklin cussing him out. Seriously, you want to act all grown and puff your chest up? Fine, I'll put my foot in your ass. Plain and simple. You, These are two grown men at this point. I said it then and I say it now. Okay, so anyway, so y'all let me know what you think about this whole carry on Franklin. His mom says that he's doing this for attention. And I'm sorry, I just believe that woman. I honestly believe her. So anyway, so you guys let me know how you feel about the situation. Y'all already know how I feel. Okay, uh, next I want to talk about hmm, Terry Crews. Oh yeah, our famous shucking and jiving head scratching. Terry Crews, he's back in the news again. Just last week, Terry Crews went to Twitter. You know, Terry loves getting on that Twitter, Twitter machine and saying all types of crazy stuff. And he basically said this. The best thing about being uninvited to the cookout, dot, 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 is you never drank the Kool-Aid. I'm so tired of his ass. I am so sick and tired of Terry Crews. I have dragged this man several times on my show. And here we go again with Terry Crews. Um, you know what, at this point, you know what, I'm, this may just very well be my last time talking about Terry Crews because I really feel at this point, he's just antagonizing the black community. That's really what he's doing and he's trolling us. And to a certain, to a certain degree, myself included, we're, we're falling for it. Here I am talking about Terry Crews, which is what he wants, okay? I mean, there was no reason for him to even make this comment. But, but again, Terry Crews loves the attention. Y'all remember he attacked Gabrielle Union. You remember that when she was fighting with, uh, uh, was it uh, America's Got Talent and said how they were racist towards her and they were misogynistic towards her and he gets his step and fetch it ass on the, on the Today Show uh, saying that uh, it, racism never happened to me and I, I can't believe it. She would even say something, you know, all blah, 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 all of this old kind of mess, you know, so... Y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm done with Terry Crews. 
I'm just, I'm just, I'm really not going to cover him anymore on J Topics. Now, with one exception. Now, if it's just something just is so outrageous that I can't ignore it, I'll, I'll speak on it, of course. But other than that, I'm just through with Terry Crews. You know, he's been in the sunken place for a long time. And to be honest, the sunken place is actually where Terry loves to live. Real, like, seriously, seriously. He loves being in that place anyway. So, God bless you, Terry. I'm done with you, brother. All right. All right, guys. That's it. That's all I got. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and do what? Subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. And after you subscribe, please don't forget to head on over to Instagram and check me out at jaysworld.tv. That's J-A-I-S-W-O-R-L-D dot TV on Instagram. And I'll holler at you later. Peace.